but as he continues to watch, something happens that terrifies him to his core. Watch. <gasps> oh my god, he put his hand out! Now, I still have a couple weeks left in the cut, so this, uh, this is, this is gonna get a whole lot freakier. Oh, ooh. Uh, oh, oh my god, look at that. Oh, no way, this is freaky, freaky pump. Uh, 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 Did you need to use this machine? If you caught me looking at you, I'm sorry. I, I certainly didn't mean any disrespect by it. Hey, you want to get big, kid? Oh my God, yes. That's a good one. No, God, it hurts. No, no, that's good. It's supposed to. Side of you. There's no one solution to fitness. You gotta do what feels right for you. It hurts! Dear God, it hurts! The pump can be addicting. Veins expanding. Muscles transforming. You become an enhanced version of yourself. Just another lift under the belt. I suck When I'm at the gym, I don't think, oh, I'm on my cut, I can't eat this or that. I mean, as long as it's in my macros, I mean, I can eat whatever I want. Ooh, looking huge. Guys, this is exactly, this is exactly what happened when I hit the gym. What do you mean cap? What do you mean cap? Did you guys buy tickets? Did you guys buy tickets? To the gun show. I need a refund. No refunds. No refunds. No refunds. Come on. I'm actually like kind of like, you know? W scan? <laughs> no, I'm, my arms are kind of big actually. Ever since I started watching Sam Sully, John like kind of swole. Maybe it's, you know what? I think it's, it's because the background is quite, um, skin colored so obviously when i like when i like you know put up my muscles you just can't see them A couple weeks ago, my dad came home and pitched me a small job offer. One of his co-workers was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The reason my dad pitched this to me was because the man's house has a big CCTV system, basically a camera in every room and then an operating desk where all screens could be watched on a big monitor. And I'm a computer science major, so my dad just always assumes that I know how to work anything technological. The man told my dad that he'd pay me $200 for the two days just to watch the house. Whatever that meant. My dad drove me to the house and introduced me to the man, whose name doesn't matter. The man made it seem like he preferred I stay in the upstairs room with the monitors as opposed to roaming the this house. This sounds a lot like Five Nights at Freddy's. This sounds though. a lot like Five Nights so at Freddy's. So when I wasn't eating, I was mostly just sitting in that room with the TV on in the background and doing schoolwork on my laptop. Ironically, the thing I was doing the least was keeping an eye on the monitors. Night came, 
I started wondering where in the house I should sleep since surprisingly we had This is Lava Art. That. So I sat back down at the desk and looked at all the different rooms on the screens to see which rooms had beds or couches. I noticed I noticed something I wasn't expecting though. The so when I wasn't eating, I was mostly just sitting in that room with the TV on in the background and doing schoolwork on my laptop. Ironically, the thing I wasn't I was doing the least was keeping an eye on the cameras. Night came and I started to wonder where in the house I should sleep and surprisingly, we hadn't discussed that. So I sat back down at the desk and looked at all the different rooms on the screen to see which rooms had beds or couches. I noticed something I wasn't expecting though. The back screen door was open downstairs and I didn't remember it being open. I look through each and every camera screen in a panic. In the living room, a closet door is open. This one I knew I wasn't open earlier. Meanwhile, I continue to watch the screen. On the grainy dark image, a tall person who resembled only a black shadow on the screen stepped out in front of the closet. I pulled my arm off the desk as I covered my mouth and with my hands in shock. As I did this, however, my left elbow pulled some heavy metal object from the desk onto the floor, creating a big thud. The person in the image very clearly moved their head up to the ceiling as a response to the noise. They went for, a, they went for the stairs, walking up very slowly, step by step. What, you guys, you guys don't want me to do this? You guys don't want me to voice act? Fine, I'll, I'll just let you listen to this guy. A text back from my dad saying, no, he's not. I just spoke to him half an hour ago. <laughs> Why? I got so caught up in my phone texting my dad to send help that I didn't even pay attention to the monitor. There was a knock at the door. I looked at it and then the screens. The first screen I laid my eyes on was the one. The first screen I laid my eyes, my eyes on was the one showing the person outside the room I was in. Showing the person outside the door to the room I was in. When I, I remembered, remembered that, that the door had, door had no lock. lock the, the only, only thing, thing I, I could think, think about was jump out the window into the below. I ran halfway down the block and then stopped when my dad called me. I had him call his friend and ask him if he was expecting somebody in the house. The man said he had no relatives or friends who had his key or would ever let themselves into his home. So he called the cops and had them review the footage. I got to watch all of it, and it showed everything. From the moment the intruder broke the glass to the backyard door, to the moment I jumped out the window and him running away shortly after. The intruder was never found. The footage was just too dark to identify his face. Oh wait, that time I actually muted because I was, I was sneezing. I was sneezing. I was sneezing, you guys. We need to hear the sneeze so we can make fun of it. Check. Check. On April 16 of 2023, at around 12 a.m., oh, a man named Jacob sleep. wakes up to a strange noise outside his room. Trembling with fear, he gets out of bed and encounters something that leaves him extremely unnerved. Now, not too long ago, I featured a video from Jacob, who you may remember as the man who inherited an old house and a creepy clown doll that both belonged to his grandmother. The clown doll, known as Jeffrey, scares him. Because of this, he keeps Jeffrey locked up in a separate room away from him. That's so scary. But then one night, My parents have that. something My parents happens have that. that spooks Jacob out of his mind. My it's close to midnight oh when God. a loud bang wakes him up. It's Jeffrey! He hears Jeffrey! a couple more noises before suddenly realizing that the sounds are coming from the room next to his where the clown doll was put. What happens next scares the living daylights out of him. Take a look. Oh my God, oh my God. Don't sit behind you. Chad, I'm scared. Chad, I'm so scared. I'm actually so scared right now. I don't want to watch this anymore. Oh my god, he's gonna be outside. He's, he's literally gonna be outside.
He's not even in the room yet. Uh. <sighs> no, Jeffrey, 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 Jeffrey. Oh, he's just chilling. Oh my God, he's gonna turn, isn't he? He's gonna turn, isn't he? Oh, <gasps> it was him! It was him! As Jacob Evict checks him. the room where the sounds were coming from, a loud noise is heard from downstairs. He looks nervously down the staircase when suddenly the sound of footsteps going up the stairs is heard. Yet, as he looks closely, no one appears to be there. He then quickly Turn turns the around to see off? the door opening no, slowly, no, showing Jeffrey, whose off. head is now in a different position. Initially seen facing the wall, the clown is now staring at the door. Jacob quickly ends the video here and locks himself in his room until the following morning. After this night, he was absolutely certain that Jeffrey was haunted. Afraid it might happen again, or something worse may occur, he decides to move Jeffrey into the basement. Um, another update. You know, I think I, I'm definitely going to be moving Jeffrey. Like, with whatever happened last night, I don't want him near me. Um, I'm going to be putting him in the basement, so I'm going to follow up. This is the result so far. I'm going to leave him here for now. But I think I'm going to put Why doesn't he throw him out? Come here. on guys, be real. Be real. Jeffrey's still here. So why does he why does he make him we'll sit see. like that? Like, yeah, you know what? Is. You can't just like throw now, him out. Now, like before, Jacob oh will keep oh an God. eye on Jeffrey oh by placing a security camera in front of him. If anything happens, All he'll right, be notified get, immediately via crazy. a notification sent by the camera. It's actually about to get crazy. Fast forward to a few nights later, and he's notified of movement inside the basement. I knew it. I he knew checks it. the camera's live feed and sees that the camera is moving side to side. Now, this didn't alarm him, as he forgot that the heater on which the camera was placed on top has a timer that turns it on and makes it oscillate. Okay. The heater had simply turned on during this time. But as he continues to watch, something happens that terrifies him to his core. Watch. No, oh my God, he's not gonna be there. He's not gonna be there. He's not gonna be there. Oh, he's there. As the camera oscillates from side to side, the clown's <laughs> arm eerily moves on its own. Seconds later, I thought he was literally going to run up and like smack the, the camera. The basement completely dark. Following that, a strange voice is heard whispering something that's hard to make out. Not much else happens after this, but <laughs> everything that happened damages? before was enough for Jacob to decide that Jeffrey should remain locked up in the basement. Jeffrey continues to be recorded in case he moves again. For now, no further updates have been posted by Jacob. But until then, this video remains a mystery. You know what? I'm just going to say it. Why accept him? You know, like sometimes, sometimes you got to get a gift from somebody and just be like, you had some really nice thoughts here. You know, you thought you cooked, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to take that. I'm sorry. Like, I don't want that in my house. Sometimes you can just say that. Whether it's a ugly candle, a creepy a doll, you know, 
a mirror that maybe belonged to someone's late grandma who just happened to be a witch, you can always say, no, I don't want that in my house. And it's a, it's a pretty acceptable thing to do, you know? All right, let's go, let's go, let's keep going. Number four. Scary comp number four. Turn the lights off? Oh my. Guys, I'm scared. I'm actually so horrified to turn the lights off, but I'll turn them off for you. I'm gonna turn the lights off. You guys are gonna give me a heart attack. Stop saying behind me. The only thing behind me is another horror story where I got scammed. What earbuds do you use before the video starts? Okay, see, this is why I can't turn the lights off because as soon as I turn the lights off, everyone in the chat is like, behind you, in the window, under the bed. And I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm horrified. I'm so scared. I'm turning them on. Guys, I don't have, I don't have a fear tolerance on the ceiling. I don't have a fear tolerance. I don't have a fear tolerance. I literally never built one up. My cousin told me a story about this horrifying guy who wears a bunny suit and kills people named the bunny man. And I couldn't sleep for three years. It took me a year to like close the bathroom door and like pee. Literally, like, it took me, like, so long to do that. I can't, I don't have a fear tolerance. Like, we, you actually have to work with me on this. Literally, I, I, I could not sleep three years. I could not peacefully sleep because I thought that the bunny man was going to kill me in my sleep. Three years. From, like, five years old to eight years old. I swear. I swear. Okay, what if somebody actually comes in the window? What if somebody actually is in the window? Hmm? What if there's a vampire and he flies up to the window and he's, like, about to come kill me and you guys are like, oh, behind you, behind you. And I'm like, hee hee. You guys are so funny. And then I die. Huh? What if that happens? You're like 200 feet in the air. Okay, you're right, you're right. All right, chat. I'm turning off the lights. If I die, if I die, host an e-date. Whoever wins gets my meme page. All right. This next video comes from a man whose entire home is filled with Bibles and other oh religious God, artifacts. Oh my God, I'm so scared of men. Ah! On the if he's not praying, then okay. he's most likely sitting at his piano playing a song with verses from the Bible. Pretty much everything he has or does in this apartment is based on something religious. Now you might be thinking that- Chat, I'm gonna be honest, like, I feel like if somebody does a ton of stuff like this, they know something's up. I feel like God tells you when something's up and they like, like, I don't know. This man is simply devoted to his religion. While that's partly true, the main reason as to why he prays a lot has to do with something completely different. As it turns out, this no, 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 I'm turning the lights on. I'm turning the lights on. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's in a dark hallway. It's, it immerses me too much. I get too immersed. I get too immersed when it's dark and it's dark in there. He's been experiencing strange happenings in his home ever since visiting his father's grave. Wait, chat, can I tell you a scary story? Can I tell you a scary story? All right, I'm turning the lights off. I'm turning the lights off. I'm turning okay, so one day I'm chilling in my apartment. And this room, the one that I'm in right now, wait, I'm, I'm literally going to tell you like a horrifying story. So this room that I'm in right now, like no one's in here. No, not a single person is in here. The door right next to me, this closet door goes and opens and I hear it. And I close all the doors in the apartment. Every single door in the apartment is always closed unless I'm home. And I hear it open and I'm like, what the hell? And so I like open this door and I peer in and I'm like, is somebody in here? The door is open. So I'm like, that's weird as fuck. So I leave it open and I close this door and I'm like horrified. I'm sitting there. I'm like, do I call somebody? What do I do? And I, I kid you not, two minutes later, two minutes later, the door like slams shut like this. And I hear it inside of here. I literally hear it like from the outside of this room this door closing i look back in this door is closed i literally i had somebody else come here and look inside to make sure there wasn't like a person in there like i made them look under the bed like everything to make sure there wasn't anybody here nobody was here could have been the wind what wind i don't even have a i don't even have a window like that opens in here all i have is this door and this door is closed like actually and the only circulation like of air at all in this entire room is up in this corner facing over there <sighs> all right let's continue safe site at the cemetery he can shake the feeling that something has followed him home whatever it might be it's me he's deeply afraid of it for this reason he's been praying and singing religious songs more so than usual as an attempt to get rid of the evil entity that now lives in his home one day, while taking a nap, he wakes up to a loud noise in the living room. What are those red eyes? He grabs eyes? his phone and records this. 
Bueno, estoy grabando este video porque estoy tratando de dormir, pero acabo de escuchar un golpe duro por allá en la Why sala. Is it en, like, why is it porque hace días like, que no, I'm so scared. I'm so scared right now. 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 Oh my god, it's gonna be right there! It's gonna be right there! It's gonna be a ghost! Oh, wait a minute. It's, it's light. Comedor. Miren, es en el comedor. Okay, he's touching his spoons. Nice. Una de las ventanas cerradas, cerradas. Whoa, Man. cryptic. That sounds like an omen. You should Google that and see what that's about. Esto viene sucediendo hace como una The Matrix de... poster is hard. That's a hard poster to have. I love Matrix. Se me hace muy extraño. Se me hace muy extraño. Cosas así. Feeling slightly unnerved, the man sees a set of eating utensils swaying side to side as though a strong breeze had passed by. But as the man points out, all windows are closed shut. Naturally, he was stricken with fear, but not as much as the next incident as what happens then leaves him terribly shaken up. Right, a few days is. after this occurrence, the man uploads a video in which he appears to be deeply distressed. Watch. Right? I feel like all these... Oh, no. Nah, oh, no. Nah. You play the piano. You know this ghost is from, like, 1542. Because there's no way a ghost... A person that died in, like, 2023 knows how to play the piano like that. Imagine a ghost from 2024 haunts you and you literally just like, you have to like, hear them say like, you think you the shit? Jesus, te ordeno que te vayas. <laughs> You're not even the fuck. Ah! You just have to, yeah, brain rock ghost. En el nombre you de, start de singing Jesus, me. ordeno que te vayas. That's a good one, Jedi. I think I'm actually going to add that. Me, personally, I'd start freestyling. If a ghost was playing a beat for me, that's just so rude not to freestyle. I'd hop on the mic like, yeah, ghost in my no house. Tienes derecho de estar aquí. Make me feel que te vas. like a mouse. <laughs> this one's not that scary to me, guys. I'm gonna be honest, this one's not that scary. Like, so what, he's playing the piano. No, 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 Oh, it's just, it's still the piano. Ordeno que te vas en el nombre de Jesús. Appearing to be fed up with the supposed spirit, the man tells the spirit to leave at once, but after having done so, a piano key is seemingly pressed by an unseen force. The man quickly rushes out of the room in a panic frenzy. It was now clear to him that something was provoking him. But as if that wasn't obvious enough, yeah. four days later, this oh happens. My God. Oh my God. No, it's no, three no. in the morning when the man and his girlfriend, who was staying the night, wake up to strange noises. What happens next leaves them highly unsettled. Take a look. Chat is being haunted a red flag. Bueno, voy a grabar este video porque nuevamente se están escuchando en el apartamento ruidos. Son las 3 de la mañana con. Oh, hello. 
Hello, Mr. Meow Meow. Così. Scucci, scucci, scucci. Scucci, scucci. Sei una sola. Sì. Non sei solo, stavo solo con un uomo che per fin decidiva venire a accompagnarmi, poi se stava su strada e a tutte queste cose che stanno passando. solo no prende la luce prende la luce no I'm not ready I'm not ready I'm not ready chat I'm not ready I'm not ready I'm not ready all right it's fine it's fine no it's gonna be on the piano it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be Freddy the doll el nombre de Jesús manifiestate why would he say that why would he say reveal yourself En el nombre de Jesús, no. manifiéstate. Oh my God, he's actually gonna do it. He's actually gonna do it. He's actually gonna do it. He's not joking around. Oh my God, that poster scared me so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Se bien, vamos, se bien. It's okay, Ambu. It's okay. My cat's right here. He's horrified too. Don't do it. 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 Stand on business. Don't reveal yourself. Don't stand on business. Don't do that. Do not. Do not. Do not show yourself. Do not. I'm not ready to see you. I know he's. Why doesn't he turn the lights on now? Oh my god. Oh my god. They're in the cabinet. It's in the cabinet. He's in the cabinet. Es un vaso. Es un vaso. Mira todos los cajones están abiertos. Oh, the drawers are open. ¿Qué es lo que pasa aquí, Dios mío? Amor. Strangely, the wind chimes move on their own, and the kitchen appears to be ransacked. Yet, according to the man, no signs of forced entry were seen anywhere in the house. <laughs> Further adding to the strangeness, the man says that his girlfriend felt very ill only minutes after this incident. Whether or not this had something to do with her sudden illness is unknown. But considering what happened only days later, the man can help but think that the spirit was responsible for this. It's late at night, and the man is once again woken up by mysterious noises when this is captured. It's gonna be the ghost. Oh my god. It's over, it's over for us, chat. It's over for us. It's over for us, we're gonna see it. He's gonna be making beats again. SoundCloud rapper ghost. He's not making it out this guy's basement. Guy yeah, needs to learn how to use lights. I'm seeing! I'm seeing! Ah! Turn the lights on! Turn them on! No, 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 no. Why are you swinging the camera around like that? Come on, just turn the lights on. Just turn the lights on. Just turn the lights on. Oh my god, it's gonna happen! Oh. Oh, there's nothing. Oh. Oh my god, he got him. He got him. He got him. He got him. Oh yeah! This guy dropping his phone just remind me. Kanye's dropping soon. You guys excited for that? Without warning, the sound of footsteps charging a full throttle can be heard heading towards the man before being attacked by an unseen presence. Yeah, this actually Scared is like stiff, literally the man stands in silence boxy. while trying to process what just happened. 
he then picks up his phone and ends the video here. Although undoubtedly strange, viewers find it stranger that the man doesn't turn on the lights in most of these incidents. But the reason for this, according to him, is that the lights for most of the rooms are located at the main entrance, which he stays away from, as he's too scared to approach. Whether ghost or not, the man continues to pray and read passages from the Bible in the hopes that doing so would get rid of the strange presence One that second. haunts him.